Hi everyone, this is Bernice Galvez Soto with the QAC team and today I'm here to actually say Happy Women's History Month. I'm going to focus a little bit on the ladies today and the reason for that is because there is a lot of therapy that focuses on women's health. Um, whether you are treating them for physical therapy, occupational therapy, or speech therapy. And today I'm gonna take a little moment to actually bring that up to your attention. I wanna make sure that not only you as a healthcare professional, but also as you're treating your patients day by day, you take these little tips into account because you could be the difference on changing women's history or women's health out there. You know, there are very famous women, uh, women in society that actually have made a difference in her life. For example, if we take Eleanor Roosevelt, her role was to be our first lady, but at that time she also played a huge role in women's rights. What about Frida Kahlo? Frida Kahlo gave us that little push of saying, you know, do not think that the males have everything to say here, but on the opposite side, she also said, you know, as a female, you are strong, you could do this, and you don't have to wait for directive of somebody to actually make something happen. Or Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama, you know, focused a lot on health, whether it was changing the way that you eat or changing the, the your fitness habits. She all brought that into our attention. You know, one of my favorite quotes is, do not let your mind bully your body. And I think that as ladies, we are at fault of that constantly. And we're at fault of that because we tend to feel something different in our body and we just say, oh, you know, I don't have time for that. Right now, I have to be a mother. Or right now, I have to be the PTA, the OTA, whatever the case is. And we tend to forget about little things. So we thankfully have a lot of healthcare professionals that do focus on women's health and and some of those healthcare professionals are among us. Uh, if we take, for example, occupational therapy, we might say, you know, what does occupational therapy have to do with women's health? But they actually do play a role, and the role is comes into effect, for example, for those cancer survivors. A lot of cancer survivors have adverse effects where they actually have to have reconstructive surgery that leads to lymphedema, um, to poor strength and range of motion in the upper extremities. Well, you know, our occupational therapists out there, occupational therapist assistants, this is where they play a role in women's health. They come, they are actually those educators for these women um, that have survived cancer and they help them not only re increase range of motion and strength, but they also help them with lymphedema whenever it is present. What about physical therapists? You're like, you know, how is a physical therapist or a physical therapist's assistant going to help with women's health? Well, ladies, one of the benefits of being a lady is we carry our children and we carry them for nine months. However, some of those um, adverse effects of child, um, you know, pregnancy or childbirth is sometimes our body tends to lose its alignment. Sometimes we, uh, we actually have weak abdominals or weak pelvic floor muscles and physical therapy plays a role in that it plays a role because we can learn through physical therapy how to improve strength in our pelvic floor muscles as well as our core and as well as learn new strategies on how to modify ourselves when we are actually displaying poor posture whether it is because we carry our children to the side or because of a big, huge belly during the time of pregnancy, we tend to now walk on this position. So regardless of whatever it is, woman's health and physical therapy can make a difference. Woman's health and occupational therapy can make a difference. And as well as speech therapy, you know, one of the things that we hear a lot is that strokes tend to be very common in women. And, you know, unfortunately with strokes, there tends to be a little bit of uh, speech kind of problems. Well, this is where our speech therapists actually come into place. They will help our ladies who have suffer, uh, suffered from strokes recently how to actually adapt with the stroke adverse effects and still be able to communicate whether it is with speech deficits or communicate with other resources. So again, you know, women or ladies in the field of physical therapy, occupational therapy and speech therapy still play a huge role. We still have 
treatment alternatives for uh, to help and assist these ladies whenever they're in need, whether it is for our patients or even ourselves. So if you hear any of our patients come to you and say, you know, I'm struggling with these deficits after, you know, breast cancer, I'm suffering uh, of these deficits after a mild stroke or after having three children, you know, I'm noticing these changes in my body, you know, be proactive and say, you know, woman's health is important in therapy and our physical therapists, our occupational therapists, and our speech therapists can actually help you. So again, do not forget, do not let your mind bully your body. Listen to your body as ladies. And you know, even though we will love and we love to be a mother, a daughter, you know, a sister and a healthcare professional, remember that your health is important to everybody. So let's continue to celebrate women's health history by taking into account everything that we actually can do and provide for everyone out there. Take care and see you guys soon.